Cha-ching, cha-ching, Sunday, everybody. All right, so here's the good news about this week. Um, there's very little news that's coming up, but I want to show you guys something very awesome that I had just recently learned. I learned it today, actually. Um, I have been known about this, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how I found the, an easier way to discern it. But before I do that, give you this secret, this little secret. Um, last week we did a fabulous job again. It was 13 wins, 4 losses, and 3,830, almost 3,900 pips in the live session with Miss Jenny. So on the signal side, we did 13 wins and 4 losses. But on the, uh, on the live class session, uh, it was 3,800 pips, something around there, 38, 3,900 pips. So again, another fabulous week. So again, as always, if you guys want to join us in the signals group, please go right here to supereasyforex.com and you'll see this right here and boom and you'll click right here on join the signals group and just go ahead and sign up and we'll be sending you alerts via telegram and you'll be good to go okay and then you'll get the links to the live sessions to schedule when we're doing the live classes with miss jenny and all that good stuff okay now let's get to something new now something new so for me to keep myself up you know let me put it to you like this. When I'm trading, I just want to know whether I should take a trade now or wait and it's there a news event coming up that could interfere with my trade, right? So I just that's all I want to know. I don't even really have to know what it is. So let me say this first to you guys. If you're a person who's trying to learn quote unquote fundamental trading to see what news is going to impact you, you know what? If you're ever in doubt, just stay out of the trade until after the news event comes up and you're good to go. Now, for those who are in our simplicity uh, service, with our simplicity trading system go make sure you're going through the tutorials don't skip steps because we actually give you a a list of news events that we actually look for it's in the printouts within the manual okay so print that out and just have that sitting right there and you'll always know okay if these these category of news events come up and it's on this list and i see it coming up on whatever app you're using i like my fx book and i'll show you another reason why in a moment uh, then you'll know, okay, these are the ones I just really need to stay away from and not take that trade until afterwards, okay? There are many, many, many different pairs to trade. So for an example, like this week, you can see that on Friday, USD, non-farm payroll is coming out. So maybe you just want to stay away from the USD pairs. You will go over to the Australian dollar or something like that. Okay, so it's just that you want to know in advance before you take a trade on a particular pair, regardless of what the setup looks like, it could be the perfect setup. And then all of a sudden, news of it comes out and it spikes and hit. Do you know the average retail trailer, that's part of the reason why they're blowing their accounts and losing trades? They're looking for technical setups, meaning support resistance, supply and demand zones, whatever, you know, don't you own channels. You go through all these different things that you do, marking up your charts, hitting the trend lines, and everything looks perfect. And it seems like, man, as soon as you take that trade, it just goes berserk, something happened. Well, part of the problem is, is that right before you took the trade, you weren't aware that there was a news event coming out and you took the trade moments before the news event comes out and when it comes out, it spikes all over the place and you end up blowing, getting your, your, your stop loss hit and you're pissed because you didn't know. Nobody teaches this stuff. Nobody teaches this to us. And so this was happening to me for a very long time where I was getting my, my trades hit over and over and over again and nobody i was pissed i'm like i followed direction i did what my mentor said yeah but they didn't tell me to check for news so this is why i check for news okay and if you're ever about to take a trade and you think there's a news event that you're unsure about just simply wait until after the news event is over if the setup is still there then that's cool if not then okay but there's something special i want to show you guys okay so anyway let me first go to this i like my ethics book and I like the app, the mobile app better, to be honest with you. But, you know, the desktop is cool, too. So watch this. So first of all, if you're ever using the desktop version, you want to go to an economic calendar. And I like to click on this button here that shows this week, because what that does, it will show you all the news events that are coming up for the entire week. And even better, you also got this one that shows you what's coming up for next week. Like, for an example, look at here. For those who's trading next week, look at here. All these countries right here are celebrating Easter on Sunday. So if the market opens up and it's extremely slow, 
you know that next week in these particular countries, not in the U.S., see, the U.S. ain't listed there, but for those other countries, they are having Easter. And look at what's happening this week, okay? But I got something else to show y'all. I got something else to show y'all. See, look, scroll down, and you'll see that on this coming Friday, it's Good Friday. Okay, see? Now watch this. I'm going to hover over this. It says the U.S., right? But why don't they have the U.S. flag? Well, because it's Ecuador. You see that? Whoa. All right. Why is this important? All right, good. Glad you asked. So here we go. Here's where I want to show you guys. Remember I kept telling you guys over and over and over again that oftentimes when you're trading and you're looking at news that you will see in the Euro zone, the Euro zone, meaning the Euro collection of countries, that uh, conglomerate of countries that equals up to the Euro zone, that oftentimes you will see repeated information on news events. You'd be like, well, Euro, why do you keep repeating the same news events over and over and over again? Well, here we go. Now, here you can see JPY is JPY, okay? AUD is AUD, China, CNY, and you can hover your mouse right over this and it'll tell you the country is CNY is China, okay? So not, no questions there, but watch this. This is where it gets tricky, okay? Okay, so watch this. So you have, for an example, look at here. You have the uh, S&P Global Manufacturing PMI, but then you have the S&P Global Manufacturing PMI. Same thing, why are you guys repeating this? Then you have it again here. Then you have it again here. Same thing right here, see? You see? Okay, why so many times if it's the same thing? But it's not, watch what you do. The ones that have high, hover over it, and you see that Spain. Hover over this one. Let's go to this one here. This one is Italy, okay? This one is France. This one is Germany. See how those names pop up? So the bigger the country, the higher the news event impact. Euro area, okay? But then look at this one. This is low. But then you hit this one. This is Greece. It's high news. So the good news is, is that some of these countries, they really are not a global impacting country. Get what I'm saying? They're part of the Eurozone, but they're not a global, like a London kind of situation, the UK, okay? So they're, they're countries, but they're not big. So that's the reason why you'll see repeated information on news events being launched on these each individual Eurozone. So let me give you an example. It's equivalent to if here in the United States, United States of America, which equals up to about 50 different states, 50 different broken out states. So if we say there's a news event coming out in Hawaii, okay, that's one of the 40, that's one of 50 states. And then we say, okay, now there's the same news event coming out in Texas. Okay, that's two of the 50 states. And then we say, okay, there's a news event coming out on the same thing in Florida. That's three of the 50 states. So you'll constantly keep seeing the same news event being repeated over and over again. And you'd be like, why do you keep repeating it? Well, that's because it doesn't mean for the entire United States. It means of sections of the United States, okay? So when we look at the Eurozone, it's equivalent to the United States with 50 different states in it that combined together equals, quote unquote, the United States of America, although I call it the divided states of America because these pol politicians are just wrecking the country and ripping it apart, but that's a different story. So the point is that when you're looking at news events, this is why some of these are going to be high, important news events because they have larger countries, larger states, okay, in the Eurozone. The larger they are, the more important it is. So that's the reason why you'll see repeated ones. But like, for an example, this one says it's high, high importance, but this same exact one says it's only medium. Well, that's because it depends on, in my opinion, do your own research, but in my opinion, it depends on the size of that sector of that Eurozone. If it's really big and it has the possibility of echoing and, and causing an issue within the Eurozone, then the bigger it is, the, the more important. The smaller it is, the less important, okay? All right, so now, real quick, let's wrap this up. 
here's the news events for the week that I'm looking for. Do your own due diligence. But I told you guys the inflation rates are running and drivers, they're, they're kind of like the transmission in the car. You can have the best engine, you can have the sexiest car, but if the transmission is tore up, the car ain't going nowhere, okay? So the, the transmission that's pushing, in my opinion, the country's decision on whether to raise or lower interest rate, the driver behind that is inflation numbers. So that's the reason why we're paying attention to inflation like never before. In my years of trading, I've never had to pay attention to inflation rates like we do today. But that is what's driving the decisions on whether interest rates go up or down. And based on that, you'll see the currencies move big moves. Okay. So whenever inflation number reports come out, you do want to pay attention to that. It's very important just as important now as interest rate news itself. They go hand in hand. Interest rate and inflation, you want to be careful trading around those, okay? So here we go. So the Swiss is coming out, the sneaky pair, call it the sneaky pair. Swiss is coming out with inflation rates on Monday. You have the all AUD and the NZD, both coming out with interest rate news on Tuesday. So you might wanna be careful, you might wanna be careful, okay? And then, you have non-farm payroll coming out on Friday. So not a lot of news this week that I'm personally paying attention to. Now, again, you can look at news events and, and pay attention to it. But some of these news events are more for the stock market than it is for the currency market. Okay. So that's the reason why you said, well, Uncle P, there's a lot of red uh, uh, news events coming out. Why don't you pay attention to them? Well, because they typically, typically impact more of the stock market the stocks companies that will be impacted by that news than it is currencies that may not be moved at all by it okay but again do your own due diligence that's just me okay all right you guys so hey this is uncle p to change your team if you're in my class if you're in the simplicity group and you want to join and get mentored every every week by me personally then you want to go to our website and you want to click on this home page and you want to purchase our simplicity trading system which comes with a lot of different things and you'll go down here and you'll see all the different things that it comes with um and you know the question and answers are here but you'll be able to join me and you'll have our trading system and the classes are free every week i'm here just giving the free free class i've been doing it for years okay and i can mentor you and you'll have the same trading system that the rest of us have okay if you just want signals and you want to go and be in miss jenny's live sessions when they trade uh in the signals group then you want to click here to do that okay and that's this one right here and you just scroll down and you can just Click right here and sign up. And once you do sign up, then you come back here, click on the login. You log in, go through the tutorials, and you'll be good to go for this trading week coming up. Okay? So that's about it. I'll wrap up this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cha-ching, cha-ching.